Hey guys, sorry, it ends here at AFCON, but uh, I think it was an amazing story. Five games, three wins, one draw, one loss against Cameroon, the host, probably maybe the new champion of Africa, at least the champion of two or three years ago. I think we can be very proud of the Scorpions. The boys did amazing. This was the first step in the development of football in Gambia. Everyone, from government, from federation, but also you fans. You were amazing for us. You were a great support. This taste is very sweet and we want to be there. We don't want to disappoint you in the future. We're going to work hard to be there again and hopefully we can celebrate in the future outcomes. Thanks once more for the support and we love you Gambia. Thank you. Yeah, we are. We have to be first of all very proud about the team, the boys. We never knew that we would reach quarter-final. We played five games, we won three, we drew one and we lost against Cameroon, the host, in a tough situation. We were not good enough for Cameroon today. Uh, we will never know what the reason is because a lot of speculations will be made but we never get a second chance to repeat this game in the same circumstances. We will be critical to ourselves, what could have been different, but this game doesn't return. I'm very proud of the team, we played Tunisia, we won, we played Mauritania, we won, we played Guinea, we won, we played Mali, we drew. I think everyone can be very proud of uh, the Scorpions and now we have to start working again because playing chart in the pre-qualification is not easy but we want to be there. The taste of AFCON was sweet and I think we have to work very hard to be there next time in 2023. This is uh, the first time, uh, it's also a learning uh, uh, call for the Gambia. What do you think uh, we, have, we should learn from this tournament as a country, uh, a debutant in the AFCON? I think that uh, both government and federation did a very good job in the preparation. We had some bad luck with the COVID in the preparation, but that's out of our hands. We know that we have quality players. Uh, I guess several players will have played their last tournament and some young players will replace them. Uh, but that's part of the development. And we have a lot, of young of, a, lot, a lot of young lads coming and we have to develop the team further because there's a bright future for this team. We have a lot of young players with talent and I'm sure we, uh, we will manage to be there in the future again. The Gambia and Tom has had uh, a, a big publicity in this tournament. We have seen the media frenzy around uh, the team and also uh, we probably some countries might be you know, looking forward to Tom, to try to lure Tom from the Gambia. If so big of us come, uh, would Tom say bye to the Gambia? Uh, <laughs> that's not a topic at the moment. We, we cannot talk. I got after the qualification uh, in my uh, satisfied. I'm only very disappointed that we were not strong enough today to make it difficult for Cameroon. You managed to block them at the first, in the first half. The second half, you, you can see it's very early. What do you think is the reason? Yeah, what the reason is very difficult to say. I think it was a throw in for us and not for Cameroon. It's a wrong decision for the referee, but that happens. And we can see two goals too easy. And for sure, the second goal is our own fault. We were not, it was not needed to concede that second. If it stays 1-0, I think everything is possible and, and, and we can come back in the game. But the 2-0 was, was a real cold shower and it made it difficult. And even if we had more control over the game, probably because Cameroon dropped a little bit back because they were leading 2-0, we couldn't create chances. We could have had a penalty, I think, a handball, but we couldn't create chances. So we have to be very honest that Cameroon was much stronger than us. And now looking ahead, yeah, we have to uh, two months time and we have to play pre-qualification for AFCON 2023. Not easy against Chad. I know against Djibouti we had problems and even now it will be not easy to play Chad. But I hope we, we, uh, we can start from scratch because if we think now that it's going to be easy at home, we, we have to work very hard. But we have to do everything that uh, Gambia is there in Ivory Coast because the taste of playing AFCON is very sweet and we want to repeat that. Okay. When you look at our coach, when you, what do you think are the future goal for the game of football? When you look at that, it's a very, very young squad, uh, a group of players are on our coach, Tom Santana. Yeah, you are very right in your comment. We have a very young squad, a very talented squad. For the first time, getting quarterfinals is amazing. We know there is still young talent coming. Our under-20 performed very well. We have young players in the local league, but also abroad. So we have to develop for the team. Uh, we have a good squad and if we can make it stronger, I first aim is now to qualify for AFCON 2023 uh, because the taste of being there is very sweet and we want to repeat that and hopefully we can do that uh, again and 
Well, it won't be easy. Uh, we have to understand that uh, playing AFCON and qualifying is not always that easy. But I feel if we keep focus and work serious, I'm sure we can be there also in the near future. And we have to develop a quarter. And hopefully in the next AFCON we can repeat what we did now. But that's also not easy.